You've made it to the final step in discovering your future career. If you have completed steps one to four, you should know enough about yourself now to have a few career options pinned down. It is time for you to find out what qualifications you need to pursue that career. There are three basic types of qualifications, namely degree, diploma, and certificate. According to Careers Portal, a higher certificate is a skills-focused qualification aims to equip a student with specific skills that enable them to have a basic understanding of their field of study with some practical knowledge. The time frame is usually one year if you study full-time, and the entry requirements is usually a matric pass or equivalent. According to Careers Portal, a diploma is very similar to a degree, but diplomas focus on practical work experience and internships rather than theoretical information. The time frame is usually two to three years if you study full-time, and the entry requirements are a matric exemption or equivalent. According to Careers Portal, a degree is divided into three levels, undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral, each of which builds on the previous level. This means that students are required to complete one level before they can apply to a higher level. The different types of degrees are a bachelor's degree, which is an undergraduate, honors degree, which is postgraduate, professional bachelor's, which is an under and postgraduate, a master's and a doctoral. A bachelor's degree focuses more on theoretical than practical. The time frame is about three years if you study full time and the entry requirements matric exemption with additional criteria. An honours degree focuses on skills and training required to work within a specific profession. Usually this is through a structured approach of combining coursework and a research project. The time frame is about one to two years if you study full time and the entry requirements is a relevant bachelor's degree or undergraduate qualification. A professional bachelor's degree is the equivalent of an undergraduate bachelor's and postgraduate honours degree. Usually they are linked to specific career specialities and combine theoretical and practical skills training over the duration of the qualification period. The time frame is usually four years if you study full time and the entry requirements is matric exemption with additional criteria. A master's degree focuses on coursework and or a research project with original content and or analysis. The time frame is about two years if you study full time, although this can be dependent on the institution and the focus of study. Entry requirements is a relevant honors degree, professional bachelor's degree or postgraduate diploma. A doctoral degree focuses on regional research which contributes to the body of knowledge within a specific field. The time frame is about two years if you do it full time and the entry requirements is a relevant master's degree and attainment of specified eligibility requirements for admission consideration. How to think through a proposed study pathway. The first thing to research is what minimum qualification you need in order to work in your preferred career. Then question how do you get it? Things to consider would be what study options do you have? Part-time, full-time, campus attendance, online, correspondence. Is there a specific institution that you need or want to study at? What is the cost of each possible option? How are you going to pay for your studies? How are you going to pay for your living expenses while you study? Does your first step towards a qualification determine and or limit what parts are open to you to specialize or upskill later? Ideally, do you need to have your qualification to be from an accredited internationally recognized institution? Which suits you better, a practical or theoretical focused learning environment? And how quickly do you want to start working? Three-step practical example on selecting a type of qualification. Step one, contextualize what your career goals are. Do you want to work with people? Do you want your own business? Do you want to be an accredited professional? What do you want? Step two, decide on the best type of qualification to achieve your goals. Do you want to start working quickly within your career? Do you want to take a shorter course with the option to follow up the specialization later? Do you want to have a more practical and theoretical focused learning environment? Or perhaps consider an alternative. Maybe you want to spend more time studying to get a higher qualification. Maybe you want to get the theory right before you start it in practice. Or maybe you just want to get straight into it and study while you learn. Consider all the alternatives. Now find out where you can do it the way you want to do it.
Once you have obtained your qualification, the job hunt begins. It is important to realize that there is more to this than just having the right qualifications. There will be intangible qualities that employers will look for, like time management skills, strategizing skills, dependability, teamwork skills, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. They will also be judging your soft skills, like communication skills both verbally and written, empathy, teamwork, adaptability, attention to detail, analytical skills, management skills, and leadership skills. And lastly, if it is a specialist position, they will test your hard skills in that field, like your coding ability, your typing speed, your foreign language proficiency, your CEO marketing skills, your computer software skills. The toughest thing to land a job is that most companies want people with experience and you are looking for that company that is willing to give you an opportunity based on your qualifications and skills alone. You will therefore rely on how well your CV represents who you are and how well you display the above-mentioned abilities and skills. Your first interview success will depend on how well you proved your abilities and skills and of course, the way you dress. Thank you for joining me on your journey to the right career path. I hope you found this helpful. If you want to review, you can watch here this link.